Hi guys, I always wanted to make my own compost but I was a little bit intimidated and also uh, worried because I live in an HOA community and I have neighbors nearby so I was worried about the smell and uh, I watched pretty much every video there is out there on YouTube about making your own compost and uh, it did look like a lot of work I needed a special bin and all that stuff or a little area where I can fence in which I can't really uh, do here and uh, I just needed a little bit of compost so I can uh, use for my plants to add every now and then for extra nutrients and I decided to do something and I will show you what and it turned out great and with uh, pretty much zero work so uh, I'll bring you over closer and show you my compost my labor-free compost so in this container and another one on the other side of the grill for the past couple of summers I've been growing rosemary and uh, this past summer the rosemary died because it got really hot and I wasn't here to water it so what I did is after I got back uh, that was about mid-September I pulled the rosemary out and the soil that was left in the container was about half of the container maybe a little bit more and uh, what I did is I just started adding my uh, food scraps and I will show you the process and uh, it's literally zero labor instead of uh, putting my uh, food scraps in the garbage uh, or the disposal I've been putting them over here and uh, just so mid-September now it's mid-December so in about one two three months this is uh, and I've been taking soil from here for a while now so it took actually way less than three months and maybe this only applies for places like Arizona where the weather is eh, warmer, it's nicer uh, but uh, I never covered it, uh, I didn't drill any holes, I wasn't turning anything I was just adding stuff and I will show you what a beautiful soil I made There it is guys, it's great and I add it to my plants every now and then and now I want to show you how I did it so whenever I eat eggs or bananas, and as you can see I eat a lot of them, I wash the eggshells and then I put them outside in the sun to dry out and whenever I'm ready to add them to my compost, I put them in the blender so I can turn them into dust and uh, help the composting process. And I also save my used coffee grounds so I can add them to the compost whenever I wish to and uh, also my uh, food scraps, my kitchen scraps, whenever I cook or make salads, whatever I have left over, even the smallest thing, I save it and I just take it out and toss it in the container. And as you can see, within a couple of weeks, not even that, I think it's less than two weeks, it turns into a beautiful soil that I can add to my garden. And uh, there are a few other things that I do and I will show you right now. So in addition to the food scraps that I add to my compost every day, if for some reason um, I go for a couple of days without having any extra produce to put in there, which hardly ever happens, uh, I have this uh, orange and grapefruit tree on the side of the house, so I would just go and uh, grab a few green leaves from them and put them in the compost. Or uh, if I want to add brown matter, I just clean up the leaves underneath the trees and put them in the compost as well. And whenever I add anything to my compost, I make sure to give it a nice soak of water after that. And usually I save my coffee grounds for about a week and then I add them to the compost. I don't do it every day. It's just too much work walking out five times a day to put the coffee grounds there. But I do it about once a week. I store them in the freezer. And uh, also at the same time I add my uh, grounded eggshells and banana peels. And this is the other container that I have going on. And as you can see here I have the leaves of some red beets that I should have juiced but I didn't. And uh, this one is getting a little dry, so I should give it a good soak of water. And we hardly ever get rain like this here, but uh, when we do, I let it rain over my compost just for a few minutes. And then I cover it with a plastic bag because I don't want all the nutrients to wash uh, out from the bottom of the container. So whenever I water my plants, I make sure to give my compost a nice soak of water. And as you can see here, I have all sorts of food scraps. Uh, this is an apple, some tea bags. Uh, here I'm going to crush this apple and speed up the composting process a little bit. 
but uh, this is the end result this beautiful nutrient rich compost and every few days I take a few handsful from the bottom of the container and I add it to my tomato plants and uh, this tomato plant in particular has never had any fertilizer I only used compost that I made and uh, take a look at these tomatoes so if you live in an HOA community or a condo, uh, this method is totally worth it and I hope you give it a try. It worked for me and I hope it works for you. And if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if this is your first time visiting my channel, please subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.